Good morning. It is about 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave. It is another gorgeous day here in Wisconsin. We are on a long stretch of very nice weather. We only had one day of rain in the last 31 days, according to the weatherman. So we're going back to the big job. We're gonna finish that up today in two pours. There's lots of joints, lots of little squares, and a bunch of rolled curb as well. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, Jessica. Oh, those look good. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. 608 just pulling into the yard. Nobody's here yet. Here a little early. There's a bunch of stuff that we need. I need the pressure washer, sealer can, sealer. I need the victory logo stamp. The guy wants to stamp at the end of his driveway. Uh, and I have a couple of other things written down. So I'll start gathering that stuff up before the guys get here so we can leave when they do. Tino is not gonna be here the rest of the week. He's got some issues to deal with right now. Um, personal issues that I won't discuss, but he'll be back on Monday. Today is Thursday. Oh, and we still gotta deal with this little mountain of concrete from yesterday. <laughs> Oh, Ray. We'll get it off. Track machine's going in tomorrow for new tracks, full service. It's got a little hydraulic leak on one of the hoses. I'll have them replace that. And I'm sure when they replace the tracks, they're going to find other stuff that it needs in the undercarriage. They almost always do. The victory stamp. I'm gonna use this one today since we're doing it on plain concrete. Hi Jay. Hi Jay. No, sit, don't jump. Relax. Sit. Morning, Ray. Yeah, because the other one's almost burned up. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. All right. We gotta get that concrete off. <sighs> I don't see any forks no forks we got a large lump of concrete on the side of the truck and no forks to take them off i know i had forks in the yard there are no forks here i'm confused i had forks here and now there are none i had one set in the yard one set at the winter shop and obviously the one on the construction trailer but where's the set that was here oh there's a bird's nest right here with little birds yeah. Have any forks here? I had forks here. Yeah. I don't know where they are. I've been looking. I can't find them. All I could do now is I could put the hitch thing on and hit it and get it loose off the thing. Little birdies. Look at the little birds. They're not that little anymore. They made a nest and fly out of there. Yeah, the mom's right there on the trailer. Oh, okay. She's right there. Oh, cool. She's right on the trailer. Morning dove. She's right there, Ray, on the yeah, aluminum I trailer. See. Not our trailer. Pigeon. No, morning dove. Mo dove. Oh, yeah. Dove. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ray's like turkeys. City boy. Yeah. <laughs> turkeys. Turkey vulture. <laughs> Hopefully this comes loose at least. I pull that off, it's gonna hit the ground and go back and go boom right into my brand new toolbox. Got a bucket we can? Yeah, if we can slide it by hand into a bucket or something. Yeah.
Yeah. Big race. No, yeah, we need a big race stamp. I seen Francisco. Francisco's here. Milwaukee. I didn't even give them all his shirts yet though, that's why. What is that? The new uh the new uh victory t-shirt? Well Milwaukee's sponsoring us now, so I'll the agreement is they gave me five million a year and one of my guys has to wear one of their shirts shirt once a, once a year. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we don't need anything else. I see you got your dress pants on again. Yeah. Fancy today again. It's gonna be an right. easy day, you know? They're all easy. You could wear a three-piece suit if you want. Yeah. That'd be Maybe nice. I should do one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nice tie and everything, vest. Well, that'd be awesome. And when it gets warm, you could take the coat off and just have the nice vest. Look at that. With yeah, the tie. That's a good idea. Yeah. What kind of tape measure did you get? One. The same one. You got the most expensive one. I know. The thirty forty dollars. Oh, he's just like you and just take it out and bend it myself. Yeah. All right, let's go. He's got everything in the front ready for us. Look at coffee, cookies, creamer. He's got all the chairs, coolers, ready. Victory stamp, I did not forget it. All right, this is what we got today, driveway. We got a center joint going all the way down this driveway. It's only eight feet wide down there. So we have four foot squares down there, four by something. First pour, we're gonna pour from there to the outside corner of that stoop there. Uh, roll curb all through here to protect the neighbor's foundation from water running off over the slab. And we're gonna have a roll curb there as well to keep water out of that corner. Yesterday we poured the patio and stamped it and then we poured this up here. We gotta saw cut this right now. As soon as we saw cut it, we're gonna pressure wash this and we're gonna pressure wash the siding because it rained when we were setting up and there, there was mud that got splashed all over the siding. You just said, no, I'm not gonna eat any, and look at you. They look beautiful. <laughs> that was literally less than five minutes ago. They look super good. <laughs> so first thing we need to do is cut this. Right after you got the stuff moved, you got a drill for rods. I Let me see your you. tape measure. Brand new? Yes, sir. Good, I need it. <laughs> That's fine. Why did I take just take care of Huh? I'll take care of, you about that. You of course I'll take care of it. Um, we need the pressure washer back here. I just saw Bugs, he was walking around with the chalk line. And then he disappeared. You got a chalk line, Bugs? Ah, this is gonna look so nice. The stamping turned out really good. Crispy. Eric, what happened to the saw? What do you mean? Oh, it was like that. You put the thing on backwards. No, not that. Oh, this? Yeah, that's that's reversed. Oh, yeah, I felt it. I was trying to figure it out. Really? Yeah, really. I promise. Morning. How are you? Great. How are you? All right. Ready for a new driveway? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, these guards, they drive me nuts. Or the guide, I should say. The guide's drive me nuts on this. Why they haven't fixed this design in I don't even know how many years, ever. It's beyond me, we're on now. When I use a saw cut saw, when I have to turn around and drop it back in, I always shut the saw off and then I'll drop the blade back in the slot. Sometimes it's easier than other times. Get it in there, make sure it's straight, and then I'll start it with the saw down. And that way, where you start and stop, you don't have a double line, you don't miss, it's always right on and it's straight, just like that. Pro tip of the day, Eric, put it in the back of your mind. Here, grab this, take this out of here. I gotta order concrete. Shoot for the next time speaking. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Good morning, sir. Hi, I have that eight o'clock. Yes, sir. 
I need 13 yards. Okay. Uh, six and a half bag, low churred air, microfiber, five inch lump, 20 minutes apart, and a half percent NCA. Uh huh. And same. Are we in the same spot we were yesterday, is that? Yeah. Got it, sir. All right, thank you. You bet. But concrete's ordered. Please. All right. Clean the guys, the neighbor's fence, neighbor's garage, his garage. Get all the splatters off from yesterday. Make sure everything's nice and clean. I'm gonna wash the stamping. You're supposed to wash the stamping when you use liquid release before you put the color on. Plus, obviously, we have all the sawdust that has to go anyway. So we'll give this a once over. Ryan, turn the spigot off. You can unhook that now. Everything's all clean, and uh, guys have been getting ready to pour. Pretty much ready. Pretty much ready to go. All this water runs like this, and then runs right off. And this will continue right down the driveway. It's got nice pitch. This we don't need anymore. Bray, look what you did. Man. You look like you're waiting to use the buggy. Are you helping? Hey man, if you need help, I'll help. All right, because Tino's not here again. Yeah, I can just stay out of your way and be more help though. <laughs> that's out. Yeah, that's probably good. Well, what are you gonna? Are you gonna go straight here and then just like kink it a little bit? No, nope, not water? kinking at all. It goes straight all the way. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I figured that all yesterday. Yeah. I ran strings all the way to make sure it's gonna look decent. Right. So yeah, so your driveway. Like when somebody pulls up it, it's gonna look like it's straight. Cause right. they're gonna their eye's gonna follow the joint. Right. It's not gonna follow the side. Okay. So yeah. it'll it'll actually make it look better. Alright, I just need to uh measure for joints, which I pretty much have figured out in my head already. It's it's pretty simple. And uh that's pretty much it. We're ready to go. First pour is only 13 yards, and then the second pour is boy, the second pour is probably only about eight maybe something like that not too much concrete today just a little tedious that's all oh i know what i was going to show so these little boogers on the surface i said they won't be stuck and look you can just wipe them right off with your hand some people get concerned about that like oh there's boogers from the broom they don't actually stick to the surface they're just laying on the surface how many are you eating bugs my first one. Oh, really those look super good. How do they taste? Tell me the truth. Yeah? Are they soft? They're the best yet. Do you really? Yeah. Did you have a cookie? Yeah, you didn't have a cookie yet? Oh. No. Oh, yeah. No, I can't. Brought the stamp. Perfect. Yep, I got it. Then you'll get paid. Yeah. <laughs> Did you drill everything, though? Not yet. Yeah, just work on that, so. Yeah. You can work on this here, and then that's it. I'm calling concrete. It's 10 minutes late now see where it is five minutes away probably hey this is ryan from victory yeah curious on my eight o'clock load yeah i would say about 15 minutes to be there all right thanks yep. but 15 more minutes then yeah at least he's honest all right concrete's here finally it's already uh 8 30 half an hour late come on ray Concrete's here. Hey, what's going on? Morning, how you doing? Pretty good. Good. So you pee in there or something? It's form oil. It yeah. Did somebody pee in there? Yeah, really? <laughs> no, Ray, nobody peed so in there. Came in hey, there. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> not bad. Just a touch stiff. Put in like a... Just put in a couple gallons. It's not bad. All right, Ray, let's do it. Let's do it.
That's gotta be it for this driver. Gotta be. Yeah, he's empty. I knew it. First truck's empty, second truck's here. Everything's going good. Put that over there. I want fresh concrete in that corner. Put it over there. So you might as well have second low of fresh concrete. What did he say, cement? Yeah. The cement is here? Yeah. Oh, Ray. Uh, I gotta let him know he's gotta look for a new job now. That's a fatal mistake, calling concrete cement. There's no cement. Oh. Bye. Dump it, Ray. Hey, one more power buggy, then shut them off. No more, we're almost done. Okay. I don't think he lost his key. You know what? Don't strike off yet. If I don't bull fold that corner now, it's not getting bull floated. Hey, give us a second. Actually, no, go ahead and fill it up. I changed my mind quick. Right on, right on the edge of the stoop, just like you're doing. Straight across. Yep. Go ahead and set that. These are just like them old Wauwatosa jobs we used yep. to do. Oh yeah. Like every one. Yep. It's just nice to get that strike off in so they don't have dead spots, man. Oh yeah. I, it looks really good right now. Yeah, it's coming out real nice. Yep. Sure oh, this is away. super high. Dig in there. Get yeah, that why, you, why are you sitting there like two inches away from the stoop? Dig in there and get that belt off. We gotta cut it because it's something sticking out back there. Make sure you get your strike off all the way down there because it's high right next, right next to you. Bugs, you lead. Where's Ray? Is he running? He should be running. Can't find me. The concrete saw. The concrete saw. In the middle of the street. Oh man. Ray was getting a concrete saw blade on. Oh. <laughs> he, he was. <laughs> Come on, Ray. Man, I used a different hammer on another video and people are like, where's your plastic hammer? How come you don't use your plastic hammer? Look at, he's still bringing it. Why? I replaced it. Why? Because it was, it was a small one. <laughs> you want that small little one? Go put it back, Ray. You we, don't need it. No, I we need saw. We needed That's that close. saw. We're cutting wood. Oh, I didn't hear that. Right. <laughs> I heard wrong. Did we bring? Did we got the pink hat. Is it here? It's in the truck. Oh, Ray. I heard wrong. I thought you meant that. Ray, you keep us laughing, though. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Still sticking up a little. Look at the end of the strike off. Still a half inch high. See that? I mean, right where it's sitting, right where you, where you already struck, it's good. Just keep pulling it down like that, you'll be good. Well, that's a problem area with even experienced guys is getting the end of the strike off all the way down. You really gotta watch that. Yeah. And then it would go up and then dip and I thought. Yeah, because then you gotta go up and then you gotta dipping right by the house. You gotta make sure you get that thing down, 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 down. My whole career, I've seen it. No, don't get any loads yet. Just wait. Wait till I tell you, Ray. We don't want to do that again tomorrow morning, right? No. Okay. Well, I guess it didn't bother you. You just no, you just watched. The only thing that bothers me is that hat. I'm going to rip that thing one day. So, <laughs> the hat? It'll probably rip going on and off your head so many times this year. It'll fit your head perfect like a glove by the end of the season. It'll be all broken in to broken match. Like a broken in leather shoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were all sitting here wondering what was taking you so long to get the saw. Man, I thought you said the... Uh, and you were changing the blade on the concrete yeah. saw. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Can you pull some of this back? Got 16 inches of concrete here. Come on, Franny. 
Well, you oh, that's the problem? Yeah, I the that's, that's all we need. Get a half. half. Get like a... Yeah, get a good half and we'll see what that does. You need my concrete bug? No, I'm good. But uh, this is my curb so y'all know. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Don't touch it, Franny. Good, how are you? Yeah, you got big man. You got big hands, dude. No donuts today. Let me where, see your hand. Where the donuts at? Oh my goodness! Your your, your finger is like an inch longer than mine. You need to be in the mud, man. Yeah. Where, the mitts, where the breakfast at? Uh, there's some cookies over cookies there. And cookies and coffee. Cookies and coffee for you. Oh yeah. Well, we heard you were coming, so we whipped them up. Man, I appreciate you. Were, yeah, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. It's a big old driveway, man. It is. We stamped the patio around the corner too. It's a pretty big job. It's going good though. It's going really good actually. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray, dude. You wrecked the handle. Come on, man. It's not really a big problem here, just a little problem. That's why I check things, Eric. You ever have to make a last minute adjustment? You know, once it's hard, it's too late, dude. Nah, I'm not tearing out concrete, Eric. That's that's not part of the victory plan. Does a 10 footer fit here? Yeah. Get it. We gotta go from one side to the other perfectly. We need the 10, wherever it is. Make sure you're down all the way now. That's why I check everything, because that would have been a big mistake. All right. Now we should have pitch good. There we go. Yeah. Almost a quarter now. That's what we're looking for. Can you back this buggy up? I got a bowl full. Yeah. Thank you. That curve's looking sweet. For freehand, that's pretty good. All right, concrete's down. Took a little bit longer than I was hoping just because there something happened. The concrete was too low. We lost all our pitch right there. So you saw me go back up in there and fix it. We're good now. It's all gonna pitch down and away, but that's why I always check it with a level in any questionable area like that. Because once it's too hard, it's too late. We just got finished pouring, cutting joints. We're in good shape. We're not struggling or hustling or anything too much. But. No time for a break, that's for sure. No, no time for a break, I said Franny. <laughs> Come on. Look at Ray just lets the concrete in the buggy get hard as a rock. No. Just scrape it all right there and get the buggy washing out of the way. How did he run over the bull float handle? He must have not been looking at all. When he ran over the bull float handle? Cause it was sitting right in the middle of the driveway. He just ran it over like nothing. Can you hold this for a second? I gotta make a match and I can't see what I'm doing here. Just set it down there. That's good, thanks. All right, we got a confined space. We got a building, fence, house. I don't like jobs like this, but I'll take them. I ain't gonna tell people no. Just gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. This is probably gonna be Bug's best curb ever. No, what about the one over there in the this one's nicer. Look at this. It looks good. It's really good. Yeah, it looks like it came out of a curb machine. In a certain sense, it did. This driveway is likely never to crack with all these joints that are going in it. Ray, move that power bug into the street for a minute. I gotta shoot this line all the way down once. Once you snap that, I'll take the end and go all the way and make sure we're lined up and looking good. Look at Bugs, just putting pride into the curb. As soon as I cut that joint there, you guys, it's, it's ready to jump on, I'm sure. It ain't playing. I'll do this side right here. Go down your joint a little bit. Go back. Don't touch the string down. I want one line, not ten. Okay, set it in your joint. How does that look? Is it in your joint perfect all the way? 
Okay, that looks really good down here. We got a decent mark. Okay. It's not that exciting, Eric. It is. Super straight. Super straight. I would hope so. It is a string line. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think any, they need you out there. There's three squares and three guys. Yeah, help Ray clean up. Get everything 100% so when we're done, we can take a little break. Thank you. Thank you. We lost a half an hour due to late concrete already. Make sure my broom handle is hooked up and ready to broom, right? When I get to that stage, I'll be ready, ready, ready. Ray's out there doing the man dishes again. Getting there. We're almost done now. Hard part is done. No. No more curbs. Got a little hill at the bottom, but that's not too bad. These here? Yeah. Show me what you're talking about. Watch out, Ray. And you just gotta check it, like this fitting. Yeah. It might just have, it might be blank, which it don't have a hole, and then they, they drill a hole in oh. it for how fast they want it yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, for restrictive. Yeah. I am gonna call, cause it is, like our other Allen, it dumps nice and fast. It's yeah. whoosh. This one's like, yeah. and it splashes more. Ray, I really gotta get the buggy out of the way right now. Yeah, no, right now, like just. Okay, I'm good. Start it and move it, please. Ryan, grab your float. Nobody ever floated the end or edged it or anything. Joints are all in, going back to broom right away. Guys are coming down the driveway quick. You don't have to wash that plywood off, right? I think you're just addicted to washing. I am. And it keeps busy. busy. Yeah, but washing stuff is kind of easy. Right, Ray? <laughs> He just saw a shirt and he thought that was we, you know, that was literal easy was, money. Yeah, easy yeah. Money. He, he didn't know that was a joke. <laughs> All right, let's get this broom. Man, that's looking real nice. Everything's going good. Just uh, brooming. Having trouble with this. That was a tricky part. Reaching all the way out there without hitting the house. There we go. That looks good. Beautimus. Ray, come and strip the forms. What are you yeah, doing? Putting yeah, gas in there? Yeah, I'm yeah. to yes, sir. Is it got gas? It's overflowed it this time. You overflowed it? This time. Man. You're always taking nice care of your buggy. <laughs> spit spit film. It's a whole saliva trick. Yep. It does look nice. Ooh. Eric. Look at that. Oh, it did work though. I see that. All the hard parts done now. Two dollars? No way. Your company gave you a two dollar gift card for a million dollar company. We're talking about huge. We know they huge. The Madison here. They really gave you a two dollar gift card for your birthday. Two dollars each? Yeah. That's insulting, to be honest. I know. What do you think I quit? Crazy. That, that's insulting. That's you give it back and say, you need the money more than I do. Just keep it. <laughs> that don't even pay for the tax. No, all right. I was just like, you got to be kidding me. They hated you. No, they gave that to everybody. 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 Hey, were you like, were you like, two dollars? Thank you so much. That's like leaving your waitress a one penny tip. It's yeah. insulting. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I was yeah, doing like $5, well 
Yeah. Right, yeah, right. Oh, uh, it was probably costing the company too much. Oh, yeah. You got two dollars times a hundred employees. Yeah, they were, man, they were that houses. adds up, Eric. They were building left houses left to right. <laughs> Here, rinse that real quick. I never pictured you guys could do the curve that consistent. Oh yeah. It's like perfect. Of course, bugs did it. Yeah. Easy money. All right, that slab turned out real nice. A few little boogers from the broom just because I was working with a weird angle again, but that turned out really nice. I'm really happy with this whole job so far. Good looking curb, bugs hooked it up. Now we're gonna take a bit of a break, get cleaned up, and I'll get concrete coming for the rest, which looks like about, I don't know, eight, nine yards, something like that. I'm done, so wash it good. I don't know where my other broom head is. You didn't take it, did you, Eric? No, Ryan, I didn't have my own. I don't know where it went. What's that? My regular three foot broom head. This is the backup, the That's two footer. I don't know where it went. I tried to look for it and, I th and I'm pretty sure we left it in the other job. We were oh. That thing I don't think still never got washed. Shameless. What thing? What are you looking at? Strike the strike off was never washed? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Ray. Oh, look at that. Ray, you never wash a strike off? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna need three pink hats. We'll have to, we'll have to put them one on top of another like a triple scoop ice cream cone on your head. <laughs> Man. No, it's concrete no, all it over this thing. Over there. That's why you didn't see it. Oh. Uh, How do you not know what's... Oh, he's trying to pass the blame to Eric. Ray's just like, well, it's just going to get concrete on it again. <laughs> like when you were a kid. Oh, no. Like, oh, why God. do I need to make yeah. my bed? I'm just going to sleep in it again tonight. All right, I'm going to get this measured up and get concrete coming. We should have time for a break, which is always nice. Guys want to go get tacos again like we had yesterday. That place was really, really good. Hey, Tom, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I got a 12 o'clock. Give me uh, eight and a half. Actually, just make it nine yards. Same place, same way. You got it, sir. Thank you. Got to throw some tape up here. And then we're ready to pour. I cut it like eight feet tall. Yeah, I know. Those splashes go up high, though. That, that's what's true. Is that buggy? One right here. Couple, couple right there. Boom, boom, boom. One more right around the corner. One right there. And then we're... We're ready to pour. We're gonna go get tacos or something real quick or a gyro. We'll be back. We got time, so. Oh my God, it's a pepper here. Yeah, what happened? Nothing. All right, we are on 73rd and Lincoln at Golden Gyros. It's supposed to be really good. I like gyros. You call them gyros or gyros? Gyros? I don't know, a lot of people call them gyros. No. no. Yeah, a lot of people say gyros, yeah. but I say gyro. I think you're supposed to say gyro. We'll ask him right now. I, we're gonna start a big debate online. Oh, he's he's Greek. He knows for sure. Are you authentic Greek? As far as I know. Yeah. All right. So is it is it gyro, gyro, or gyro? Gyro. Gyro. All right. That's straight from a Greek man. So it's it's gyro. I'll take a, I'll take a gyro. Can you do extra meat? Can I do a double meat? Do, go ahead and do that. You got your own money? You good? You loaded? Okay, you loaded? Oh, Eric, I know it's loaded. I don't have to ask him. I bet Jay would love a gyro. Right, Jay? Did you get bugs? I gave her some. Thank you, bugs. Steak and cheeseburger. Concrete's here! Last pour of this job, and it's a little one too. That's good. It's gonna be easy, very easy. You again? Man. Good, how are you? I told them to send their best driver, and here you are again. Power buggy, easy for you. All right, let's see what we got. Put in like three or four. All right, concrete's here. Just started pouring. Clients are here, watching our every move. Really, really good customers. They're gonna be contenders for customers of the year as well. We got a lot of early contenders this year. It's only June. And so, so far we've had some really good ones. It's like eight yards, I ordered nine, because it's really thick in the middle. 
gotta be six plus inches right there. Right where the apex of the driveway is. This one just, you just touch it and it goes flat and smooth. It's cause it's bugged. All you gotta do is look at it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much does it work. It moves your arm for you. Just about done. A couple more wheelbarrows. Jade looks pretty happy about the progress today. Concrete's all down. This is both floating the hill up. I already went sideways with it. And it looks really good. No holes, everything's real nice and flat. It's gonna set up really fast. Relatively warm. Mid to upper 70s. Sun. Got a half percent NCA. Six and a half bag small power so we want to get it going we got a lot of concrete left over again that's a that's a full wheelbarrow right there man there's a whole wheelbarrow of concrete and you got to get out first okay. so in there? there you got to put that in a truck first okay. so make sure the strike offs and all that are clean first because yes, i think you're almost done with that you know this stuff's doing we just put it down it's still pretty wet not bad pretty easy here joint 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 and then i got that one split in three and then one up the middle and that's it that's it and then we're gonna we'll have hit all of our corners get it so the strings in the middle of the joint got it now. it's just not quite hard enough to walk on right there now put put the end on the broom pole and then hit this corner this corner that corner and there and then i got marks you and eric can do it have a good day hey don't work too hard man i see hey, i don't work hard it's the first time i ever saw you pulling though since i've been around you've been with the come -alongs. pulling come alongs yeah. that's what i always do uh, oh you just so good at it you just don't never i never oh, watched yeah that's the first time yeah <laughs> it was my first time puddling I usually just sit in our chair and supervise. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a second pole on, just barely. Can almost reach with one, but not quite. I'm gonna try to walk out here with socks. Hopefully it doesn't damage it. I am pretty light. I mean, I lost weight. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna crack, Eric. I don't know. I don't even know if I can walk on it yet. Let me see. I mean, I hope I can. Oh, big marks. Big marks. Big marks. Oh, man. Give me a give me some tools. It's all wrecked over here. Basically, don't have any mark here. It's like a I can see a couple pieces of mark and that's about it. We'll get it. I got time. It's not hard yet. Be ready to finish in 10 minutes so it ain't messing around now i got a long stretch with no mark oh i'm off yep i'm off now i just saw a little bit of a mark and i'm off half inch get all this off here today so we don't have that glue stuck on the siding we leave it till tomorrow all right just 
got to finish the rest of that joint from the bottom side. Push the joiner out too far and it's completely stuck in the concrete. So there's only one answer for this. <laughs> oh. Woo. I got it. Good work. Is it even straight though? Who cares? I'm going to set the angle different. Now we're nice and straight. I didn't like it right at the crest. It was not looking good. You got a joiner on you? What? What? Francisco, give me a joiner. Because it's caved in right there. That's as far as you could get it out to me? Yeah, <sighs> Careful with your mag by the joint because it's pretty gushy. It is, it's kind of gushy. Oh, Ray. Man. I told him two, bar two, two wheelbarrows. Guy gave way too much. Oh man. Hey, tomorrow morning is gonna be like deja vu. Yeah. Same thing again tomorrow morning. We got the same pile of concrete as we had this morning on the truck again. Same. You know what I should buy? I should buy one of those forms for the big blocks, those betting blocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we could carry around that new trailer I got, get some use out of it. Put it on the back of my truck, and when the truck has an extra yard, go fill it up. By the end of the season, I bet I have 50 blocks. I bet you at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for a new salt shed on a new land. That was just kind of a silly thought, but that actually might not be a bad idea. Because I got the trailer. All the extra concrete that the trucks yeah. are still in the trucks at the end of some porch. Yeah. As long as you know you can make a full block, because you can't have a partial block. It's just garbage then. We could have the half block for him too, if you know you only have a little bit. That always helps. I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm going to consider that. Good idea. Get it, Ray, get it. I'm just getting some sealer ready for sealing the driveway up. Ray is loading the buggy. The guys are coming down the driveway. I'm going to start brooming and then seal everything right away. Careful, Ray. Nope. Should I go do it for him or let him struggle? I say we let him struggle. He got it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go start brooming. All right, on three with the clients. Easy money. <laughs> you know what I usually say to the client now, right? Where's, Where's my, my money? Jack? You got my money? <laughs> <laughs> Blow that off in the back and start sealing in the back and seal my way out. I'll strip the forms, get everything put away. Blow off a little bit of crust in the back here and there and then seal it. It's done. We're ready. I'm going to come back here uh, maybe over the weekend. Maybe Saturday or maybe early next week. And I'm going to color the, that patio, the stamp patio. So when I seal now, I'm obviously going to be very careful. I don't get any sealer on the patio. I like to pump these until they feel like they're going to blow. I seal the patio. I'll overspray onto the existing driveway. And uh, we'll get that covered when I seal the patio. The patio looks good, even just natural concrete color. Honestly, I could leave it like that and be happy with it. That looks cool, man. And all the concrete's hard enough so I can walk on it while it's first load this morning. And that down there is narrow enough I can reach everything. So don't have to come back to seal anything. Well, if you guys can see that rainbow the sealer makes, it's kind of cool. Bug's done. We're not even done. Oh, he's getting the plywood lined up. Oh yeah, he can't leave. He doesn't know how to get home. Oh, yeah, he forgot Jay, too. Jay's like, Jay's like, who cares? This lady's pretty nice anyway. And I would have three friends. Right? All right, it's all sealed except for the last two squares. They want the victory stamp at the end of their driveway, one in each corner. So I'm going to put a little liquid release on. I just hope it's hard enough. I haven't used this one yet. 
and I haven't done it on a broom finish either. I guess there's only one way to do it. Some liquid release on here. All right, what do you think? One in each corner on the eagle. Like this? Yeah. Like on a 45? Yeah. Okie dokie. We'll give it a shot. How far are you away from the edge? Three, yeah, right three there. inches. Perfect. I don't know if it's going to look good. We might have to redo it or... Here. I don't need a hammer air. The thing is, is if you pick it up and put it down, it's going to be impossible to get it back in the same spot. So I'm just kind of like... Well, you got two chances. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm going to go a little bit harder on the next oh, one. Oh, you can see it now. Oh, you can, you can see, see it. it. Oh, yeah. It's just the bubble thing. Victory. That looks good. I like it. Yep. Oh, you got to do this side. Yep, let me get a little bit more release on it. That's super awesome, right? Yeah. This one will probably turn out a little better. Oh, yeah, you had practice. <laughs> awesome. Really good. Yep, turned out good. Victory. There we go, victory. Pretty cool that customers want your stamp at the end of the driveway. Not once, but twice. That's pretty good feeling, honestly. They asked me to do that. I didn't ask them to do that. Oh, you guys keep leaving your hats. Come on. Well, Ray, Ray figures he's got the pink one now, so. All right, I think we're done. I think we're done. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All kidding aside, thank you for the work. I really appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for your hospitality. That was really fantastic. You guys are definitely in the running for Customer of the Year Award. Oh, yeah? Still early, you know, but you're right on the top so far. Well, then don't show the video till way late because I don't <laughs> want any competition. No. Oh, no, it benefits us to show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then the next people have even more. So all the concrete sealed like we're a hundred percent except for that patio we just got to color and seal it yeah all right well thank you thank you very much you guys drive safe you know there's crazy people yeah we noticed this morning and then is it a regular or diet oh it's regular i won't want it oh there is a zero grab that zero eric there's one more all right thanks again okay thanks again all right bye bye have a good afternoon thank you thank you all right we do need a little sign on a stick that says mount ray and we'll put it in every time oh, yeah. he does that oh, we'll yeah. plant it oh yeah it'll be it'll be like on the, the flag on the moon so it's bug's fault i said bug said no, two and i said two just to the trucker. the trucker fault. just kept uh, it's your fault i put wash me it's your truck we'll go wash it you know where my house is take it to my house and wash it wax it scrub the wheels hey don't stare at it for too long all right. <laughs>